Hello everybody, uh, Aaron here from the Whirly Bugger. Um, we're going to tie a girdle bug. Uh, this one has a, a tungsten bead on it. It's a pretty simple fly to tie. We've had some requests to, uh, to tie this fly. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you my variation of this one. We're going to go ahead and start tying this girdle bug here. So this one's on the small side uh, this time of the year. You know, I kind of vary the size depending on what, uh, what stone fly I'm trying to match and the color. Uh, basically the only thing that changes is hook size and color through the season depending on the variety of stone fly you're fishing. Uh, so the girdle bug's a good, uh, good representation of it. Um, these things are probably one of the most popular flies that people fish while nymphing um, on this in this fishery on the Yakima River. So I'm going to go ahead and start here. i got a uh, 2x size 8 hook here. So this one's going to be on the small side. So we'll go, go ahead and lay down our thread base. <clears throat> We're just going to go about a quarter of an inch behind the eye here. Cut this off. And then we're going to take a fine rubber leg for our antenna here in brown. Kind of get that in place where we want it here. Take our fine rubber leg here in brown, we'll get it laid on the hook here, get it secured in place. <clears throat> Go ahead and just put a couple of whip finishes in this here. So we're going to slide our bead on, so cut this off. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this uh, 3 seconds tungsten bead on here. Okay, so now we have the bead, we'll go ahead and right back to finishing our thread base here all the way back to the bend of the hook now <clears throat> I go just a little bit down on the down the down bend of the hook kind of gives that stone fly a little bit of a almost a hunched over look in the water a little more natural instead of something that's just straight you can uh, take take a straight hook and if you've already tied these and just put a little bend in it too so go ahead and tie on our tail here I just kind of hold these rubber legs together get this thing secured in good here kind of get it where I somewhat want it you can always tweak these after the fly is done so next thing I want to do is take some of this medium black and coffee variegated chenille we'll go ahead and just strip the strip just a little bit of the end of this off here so you got something to tie down so it lays on there nice and flat get that tied in so we're going to go about halfway up the hook here I'm going to tie in our our legs here so I just kind of pre-cut all these and pull them apart so they're all ready to go and I'm gonna put this on the side I'll put one leg on each side so one piece of rubber legging actually forms two legs so go ahead and secure that one in get my next one here same thing don't worry about these being perfect. Like I said, you can kind of tweak and readjust these when you're bringing the chenille forward. So I try to get them somewhat close, but don't have to be perfect. I kind of try to tie these down so they're 
somewhat tied the same amount on both sides here so next thing I'll do is I'll take and lay one right over the middle of this fly here this is actually you know a, a fairly simple fly to tie and for some reason some folks have trouble with it but I tie a lot of these we fish a lot of these so you tie enough of them you get pretty dang good at it so what I'm doing here is I'm kind of using the thread to manipulate these legs so they're pretty even on both sides here and then you want to make sure that you get these tied in pretty pretty firm if not what happens is you'll end up with body twists so I'll go ahead and bring that thread up behind the bead now now we'll go ahead and start wrapping this body with the chenille here to kind of work it, work it through the legs here like I was telling you if your legs aren't perfect and they're not laying perfect you can use this chenille to kind of manipulate the legs in place here so and really if it's not perfect it's not going to probably keep the fish from eating it anyway it's just more of a personal preference to get everything perfect so <clears throat> we got we got everything there brought our chenille all the way to where our, our bead is here we'll just take and capture this chenille in here behind the bead don't be scared to put a bunch of wraps on this because this is usually if this fly does fail it's there because it doesn't get trapped in there properly so get a good thread base down there behind that to capture it well cut off the excess go ahead and whip finish this I like to do about eight or eight to ten on this something just to really hold everything in place so it's durable So now you can kind of go through this fly and start tweaking all your legs. So legs and antennas, get them where you want them. Last thing I'm going to do here is just kind of go through and I like to leave the middle legs a little bit longer than the front and back legs. Just trim these up even. I'll take a little bit off the tail here. Make sure my antennas are even. That's all there is to the, uh, the girdle bug. Tungsten bead stonefly.